right, so this tutorial is going to go over inserting word art and also some shapes and stuff like that right into your Google presentation. So you can see I've already uh, got my image as my background, in this case Abraham Lincoln, and let's say I want to insert some word art. So if I do as a title and cl click over and click on insert, go to word art, and from here, click enter, and there you go. You can change kind of the look and feel of that by filling in some colors. So maybe I want to make that red. You can make that the border of the letters a little different. Maybe I want to make that black. Uh, you can change the, the size of that. You know, if you want to make it super thick, obviously that's going to make it, make it look a little goofy. But you can change that up a little bit. In addition, you can uh, make it smaller, make it larger to fit your needs. So in this case, I'm going to put it up there uh, in the corner. So I have a nice title now that's uh, I've changed up the color a little bit. Now you can also insert images uh, and graphics right in the Google presentation. So if you click over either on shapes or lines, depending upon what you want. So in this case, I'm going to click on shapes. You can see there's shapes, different types of arrows, callouts, equations. I'm going to go to callouts and have old Abe uh, make a comment here. So if I have a speech bubble, come over here, have Abe speaking. I want to turn this back and make it white. And then from there, you could even add in the research tool. And if you remember, uh, you can find quotes. So I can click on quotes and maybe I want to use uh, this particular quote. I can click insert and there you go. Now I have a quote from Abraham Lincoln uh, with the source right here where I can go to it. So just an easy way to add in word art uh, in addition using that research tool uh, all right within the Google presentation so you don't have to be switching between uh, switching between screens and whatnot. And like I said, there's a lot of other things that you can do in terms of lines and arrows and uh, all types of cool stuff. So hopefully this presentation has helped. Thanks and have a good day.